question was posed on a professional forum about um, a teacher student who has excessive rounding of the back and the head staying down through impact as the legs are pushing up off the ground and the hips are moving towards uh, the ball line. So I made this video to help give some suggestions that might help out with this uh, junior's golf swing uh, to get them on track with uh, their goals. I'm demonstrating some examples of the action that we uh, saw in the video of the junior. We'll see here at impact how much my head is staying down. My legs are pushing up off the ground. I'm trying to arch my back. It's hard for me to really uh, do it as much as the junior was doing it, um, but just to give us an idea of the action that we're looking for here. I'm just going to keep demonstrating a variety of these actions, show them up uh, into impact just so that we can see, um, you know, more and more what it looks like. Also, the uh, junior was reported to have a misalignment in the thoracic vertebrae region and actually after performing a variety of these shots I actually myself started to feel soreness in that same region so it was no surprise to me after feeling um, this action as much as I was trying to exaggerate it that that I was getting some sort of a discomfort in that same area as well. The main things I was trying to exaggerate in these swings were uh, keeping my head down through impact feeling my back actually round up as I was pushing off the ground with my legs and actually trying to get my uh, rear end to move a little bit towards the target. These actions were actually very hard for me to perform, but, um, you know, just, I guess, due to my habits, but, you know, I did my best job of trying to demonstrate them here. Next thing I want to talk about is some uh, differing swing styles that have different ground force patterns to match them. So this will give us some idea about what's going on in the golf swing. You know, how do we push into the ground? Do we put, when do we push into the ground? That sort of thing. The first one we're going to look at here is my legs are fairly straight. And, um, you know, as I go back, it, does, it looks like there's little or no squatting in the backswing. And, you know, just some natural sort of re release of the posture up through the ball. We may see, like, an Ian Wisdom swing like this. And maybe a Fred Couples who actually adds a little bit more dropping of his weight through the ball. This next swing I set up with a little bit more knee flexion at address, a little bit more spine tilt at address as well. This is more the sort of basic rotating posture, you know, type of setup where you're just trying to rotate around your posture in the backswing, the forward swing. The right leg straightens a little bit more in the backswing, and the left leg posts and straightens on the way through. In this next swing, I'm starting with a little bit more vertical torso, more sitting into it and squatting into it with the lower body. Throughout the backswing, there's a little additional squat um, as well, and then through impact, there's more of a pushing up and launching from the lower body, you know, through up to the finish. You might see Kenny Perry do a little bit more of this type of action. This setup is very similar to the rotating posture um, type setup. However, what we're going to see is a little bit more compression during the backswing. We're going to see a little more squatting. The rear end moves rearward. The head actually drops downward, you know, throughout the backswing. There is more of a rotating posture feel as you come through the ball, but there's also more vertical launch as we see the head come up through impact, you know, and move all the way up and around to the finish. This would be a little bit more like, uh, you know, what the ground force actions that we see in uh, Ben Hogan or Tiger Woods' present swing. The next thing I want to do is talk about some exercises that help change the functionality and the pattern. Uh, one of the ones I do is just uh, get stand up vertical, put your arms across your shoulders, go ahead and get into a squat where you feel like it's a, it's a significant enough squat that you're really loading into the ground, almost like you're going to do a small jump squat. From here, you can go ahead and rotate into the backswing. If you do it correctly, you're going to feel the torque in the upper body, you know, from the, the shoulders really winding up around in the backswing, but you're still going to feel more of a vertical push down in the lower body. I did this one in a center anchor manner. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate some uh, front anchor and rear anchor as well. So here comes the front anchor when we bump a little bit forward. If you get our spine tilt correct and to get our weight into the, the front anchor alignment, from here again, we're going to squat down. As I squat down, it actually feels like I'm squatting equally with both legs instead of leaning more into the front anchor. I want to feel like I'm already front anchor just squatting down. Once again, I go ahead and finish the rotation into the backswing. You know, so I'm going to feel like I have a lot of coil in my upper body, but I feel my, my lower body is really loading vertically. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a, a rear anchor version. From this one, we just get our tilt into the rear side, feeling a little bit more right, uh, weight on the right foot. Once again, I'm just going to get a good deep squatting feel like I'm really pushing or loading into the ground. Once I have that feel, I'll go ahead and rotate the upper body, the shoulders into the backswing so that I really feel like I have a, a lot of coil in my upper body or torque in my upper body and vertical load in the lower body. We can go ahead and look at these uh, other basic pattern from the down the line view now. I'll just do the center anchor one here. 
again get loaded you know into a nice squat where I feel like I'm pushing into the ground hold that squat as I go ahead and rotate into the backswing when I feel a nice full uh, turn in the backswing I feel torque through my shoulder girdle and my lats but I feel like my lower body is really pushing vertically into the ground holding that vertical load Okay, now I'd like to show a drill that I have golfers do on the driving range to help integrate these feelings into an action that they can really play in their golf swing. As we look at this, we're going to start standing vertical with our, our hands on the, the grip holding the club in front of us. We go ahead and make a squatting action, you know, trying to feel like our body is staying vertical as we squat. Once we have the feel of the squat, you just let the club drop and the natural tilt of the spine lean forward. You're going to go ahead and turn about 45 degrees into the takeaway then you're going to deepen the squat then swing to the top and go ahead and play the shot as you swing to the top you want to let your shoulders just turn naturally you know as far as playing the shot you want it to be more reactive as you swing through here we are again getting set up with a more vertical posture chest is a little more up heads up we go ahead and create that 45 degree turn into the takeaway and then get a little bit deeper squat from there we're going to go ahead and swing you know up to the top with, with a natural turn and the through swing, the down swing and through swing is just really more of a reaction to how we've loaded these ground forces and you're just trying to do your best to play a golf shot, you know, uh, from that, that pre-loaded squatted position, you know, in the takeaway. We've got one more swing here demonstrating it. Again, let's pre-load that squat action. From there, go ahead and play the shot and try to play as good a shot as you can, just reacting to how you've loaded these ground forces and you've kept your torso posture a little bit more vertical than it has been in the past. Okay, here we go. One more time. Squat into it. Get the feeling of making our turn in the takeaway. Get that deep squat. Go ahead and react as you play the shot. We got one more here in slow motion. Getting that feeling of turning into the takeaway. Let's deepen that squat a little bit. From here, we're just going to turn, swing to the top of the backswing, go ahead and play that shot in as reactive a manner as possible. If you allow yourself to be reactive, you're going to find a way of playing these shots pretty well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show a student uh, going through the process of improving uh, to change his habits. As we review the swing, the things we're looking for is how rounded the back and shoulders are as the swing moves through impact. We'll see here as he gets in the impact, his chest is facing down, his shoulders are rounded forward, his head is down, and there's a lot of arch in his back as, his, as the swing moves through impact. One of the first things I did is gave him a drill to improve his uh, vertical load of his ground forces, and we also got his posture a little more vertical with his torso, which allowed him to keep his chest up more during his golf swing. Since he's a front anchor golfer, the first thing I had him do is get the feeling of sort of squashing a banana under his left foot. From there, I'm going to have him turn about 45 degrees into the backswing. And then the, once that turn is made, he's going to go ahead and feel like he's going to squat a little bit more down into the ground. And he's going to go ahead and finish the turn. By doing this, what he feels like is that his lower body is more pushing down into the ground. And the torque is happening more in the upper body instead of the lower body. I find this exercise is really good for golfers that need to improve their vertical ground forces as far as loading them and launching them in the swing. In this sense, they're going to feel like the lower body is squatting or pushing into the ground, and the torque is happening through the shoulder girdle and felt mainly in the lats. In his posture at address, we got him to feel like he was sitting a little bit more into his posture, a little bit more of a squat action in the legs, pushing into the ground, trying to get his chest and his head up in the swing. This helped improve some of the action, however, he still had a tendency for his head and his chest to want to more cover, create a covering action in the downswing. As we'll see here, when the swing moves into impact, we're still going to see the shoulders rounding forward. We still see that the head is really looking down, and the top of the neck is very level to the ground. What we needed to do next is help him get the feeling of how to keep his chest up and turning more level in the golf swing. Hey, I want the feel again? Yeah. I like that one because you, your body didn't fight it. It went with me that time. Here's a swing where he has a feeling of keeping his chest more up and more level as it rotates forward into the golf swing. And we're going to notice that as the club moves through impact, his head is up, his back is less rounded, his shoulders actually aren't arching as much towards the ball and downward. They're actually you know, a little more up and back uh, compared to where they were before. 
golfer is a scratch golfer. He's been playing since he was a, 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 a little kid. And, of course, he's had a lot of habits as far as, you know, keeping the head down, keep the eyes on the ball, that sort of stuff. But even in 15 minutes, we can see that he's made um, some pretty significant changes by learning how to load his ground forces better, more vertically, and getting the feeling of keeping his chest more up and rotating more level instead of trying to cover the ball, you know, cover the action with his chest and with his shoulders through the ball. He actually described in the poor swings that he felt like his right shoulder was covering the ball a lot more in the poor swings than it was when he was keeping his chest up when it felt like he was rotating more level that he was pushing off the ground with his lower body and he felt like he was getting better contact and and the ball flight improved you know dramatically when he got this move uh, working more efficiently